Hello everyone, welcome to Learn How Flow. In this video, we'll discuss another liquid problem. There is a largest perimeter triangle. This is a level problem, but we'll understand how we can solve this question. This is a bit tricky. This might come up to be a bit tricky. So we'll understand this one by one. And before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to Learn How Flow for regular link code videos like this. So the question says, uh, we, we are given an integer array num, so an array is being given to us, fine. And what we need to do, we need to return the largest perimeter of a triangle, largest perimeter of the triangle, okay, with non-zero area. Okay, so we need to find the largest perimeter with non-zero area. Now, we uh, this should be formed from three of this uh, lengths, okay, that whatever the uh, like length we find out of a triangle, so we need to find out that perimeter. Obviously, that's what it is uh, like uh, it is being said. So non-zero area means uh, the area shouldn't be zero. There should be some uh, area in it, okay? Like you should enclose some area. So uh, if it is impossible to form a triangle of non-zero area, if we cannot form a triangle like this, then we should return zero, okay? So that's the basic understanding of this question. Now, the... Uh, question comes up is like how we should keep checking for a triangle to be uh, formed what are the conditions a triangle should be formed a condition is a uh, sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side right like if a triangle of length is uh, a b c uh, say there's a there's b and there's c okay and it should be like a is uh, less than b plus c and then like sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. So B is less than uh, A plus C, right? And then C is uh, should be less than uh, A plus uh, B. So this should hold true, right? But the question is, if you're trying to check for three conditions, okay? Uh, three conditions, if you're trying to check, uh, then it, the question would become a bit complex. Obviously, it has become a bit complex because you need to check all these conditions uh, to just find out uh, whether it's possible or not. But in such cases, what are the stuff that we can do, right? Let's understand. Let's understand is like, Say we have a triangle length, length of one, two, and four, fine. In this condition, if I look carefully, if we, if we try to check for this, four is less than one plus two, okay? So this holds false, right? So we, we are sure that this cannot be a triangle, like this cannot be a triangle for us, right? So... Uh, what we checked actually, so see the other cases are like uh, 4 plus 1, if we just check for the other cases, 4 plus 1 is less than 2, that's uh, true, that's true, right? Then 4 plus uh, 2 is less than, uh, is greater than 1, this also holds true, but this is the case that fails. So what is the case that we checked for? We just checked a case that is, we took the largest side of the triangle. If the largest side is greater than the like is less than the sum of other two sides, then we are sure that this uh, is a triangle because any side added to the largest side is obviously greater than the third side, right? Any side added to the largest side is obviously greater than the third side. That that would hold true anyways. But if the largest side of the uh, triangle is like is uh, not greater than the sum of other two sides itself, then we are sure that this is not a triangle, right? So see, now that all these three checks comes down to uh, two checks as all. Well. That is, our largest side should be less than the sum of other two sides, right? This is the condition we are now going to check. The question comes up, how will we find out the largest side directly, right? Of a, uh, in this questions, you can see two, one, two, how we can be sure that which one is the largest side. So for this kind of question, what we need to do, we first need to sort the array, like sort the nums array, right? You know, there's like uh, sorting methods up there, arrays.sort is there in our, uh, like we can use directly. So arrays.sort would help us uh, to sort the nums array. And further, once you sort the nums array, then we'll start from the last element, last element being the largest element in our array, 
and we need to find the largest perimeter right so what can be a largest perimeter largest perimeter can be the value starting from the last element right uh, like having the largest value given to us uh, say what i mean is say say after sorting we have an array like 1 2 uh, 3 uh, 4 and then uh, 6 right so if this is the case we have then what we need to check we what can be the largest perimeter right uh, we know that 1 2 3 uh, is not a triangle, but uh, we can see like two, three, four is actually coming up to be a triangle, right? So two, three, four, the perimeter would be, uh, why is it a triangle? Because four is less than two plus three, right? Further, we also see that three, four, six is a triangle, fine? That is six is less than three plus four, right? So that holds true. Now, uh, so what, which of these two triangles we come up in this array, like after sorting this, which one is the largest perimeter? Two plus three plus four, it comes up to something like nine, right? And then six plus uh, three plus four, it comes up to something like 30, right? So which one is the largest perimeter? The largest perimeter is coming up to be the item, like the uh, triangle starting with the largest element with the, uh, in our uh, given array, right? So in that case, what we can do is like, we uh, sh should be starting with the last element after sorting and then find out the uh, previous two elements to find out whether this is like a largest triangle is possible or not, right? So this is the whole question is all about. We'll simply write this code and uh, then I will explain it to you how our code ex uh, goes with what we are thinking over here, right? Let's quickly go ahead and write this code. Okay, so there you see like this works pretty good since like, let's see how it uh, take over here. So if I just look, we uh, it, it just took 10 milliseconds. Obviously it's late code, you, you know that after the, it sometimes reduces the thing. It doesn't matter. So let's see what we actually did. We went ahead with the first sorting that just having the largest values at the end. Fine. Further, what we tried to do is like we uh, went ahead with values like for i equal to nums dot length minus one, that is the last element, till i greater than one. Greater than one is still i equal to two. Uh, so for i equal to two, we'll find two other elements, two, one, and uh, zero, right? That's the, those indexes are there. So uh, and then i minus one, so a decreasing loop. And then what we checked for nums of i is less than nums of i minus one plus i minus two. If this holds true, then we are going to, uh, like we're directly uh, return its perimeter, like sum of all the sides. Else, if we traverse the whole loop and we couldn't return anywhere, we just uh, return zero. But uh, here you might ask, like why we are only checking the last two elements? I mean, uh, last element and uh, the previous two elements of that, okay, only those. Because if we just look over here, if I just uh, take another example, see, if we have, or as I said, we can have a one, two, three, four, and six, fine. Uh, so if this is our uh, case over here, then uh, what can happen is like, if we, uh, you might think why we are taking six, four, and three, okay, but uh, we should have taken six, uh, two, and one. So this check should also be there. So by default, six, two, and three, uh, like six, uh, two, and one is a triangle. Obviously, six is greater than, uh, like, obviously, no, that's not, sorry, that's not a triangle. That's uh, not forming a triangle. Six less than uh, one plus two is not, it does not hold. But say by any chance, if that holds, can it be possible? If it was like five, five, okay, then six, six. Anyway, is the, does that host? So we can see five plus five is six is a hold over there, okay? So five plus five is greater than six, okay? So let's uh, to check that. So five plus five, that's holds true. Now, what the case is, why we are only checking for the last element, the element before that and the element the next to that. So why you're checking only this is like, we find six plus five, uh, six is less than five plus five. That's holds true, right? So in that case, what's the perimeter? Perimeter is something like 16, right? But if we take six, five, six and five, the last three element, our perimeter comes up to be 17, 
right so our target is to find if you just uh, uh, look over here our target is to find the largest perimeter so once our target is to find the largest perimeter so in that case we we need to go ahead with something that's uh, the largest value over here right so that's the question that's why we just checked for the i i minus 1 and i minus 2 in our sorted array right so this is the whole idea behind this question guys I hope it's understandable how you can solve this question, though it's a pretty easy level question and I hope it's uh, understandable how you can solve a question like this. So uh, if you have any doubts uh, remaining, make sure to comment them down in the comments as well. I'll be happy to help you out in the comments. Also, uh, uh, subscribe to the channel for regular network videos and like this video for uh, just for this uh, motivation. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in my next video as well. Thank you.